Hey Virgos, welcome and welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. Today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Please be sure to take this reading as it resonates as this is for a uh, general message for Virgo and tap in with me throughout the whole video to see what messages are for you. Release the ones that aren't, okay? So the thing that I was picking up on in the energy is a name specifically Donovan, okay? I'm also hearing somebody say chinchilla. So this is referring to a type of material or maybe the way that somebody has great taste in um, fabrics or whatever this is here. Somebody's very fashion worthy right now. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody here could be get, getting pointers or somebody could be dressing a person to go to an event or something like that here, okay? I'm also getting that somebody here could be paid to date somebody, but the other person is not interested or sees the person that they're having to be paid to date and they're like, uh-uh, abort mission, I ain't going for it, this is not me right here. Okay, somebody's very judgmental pertaining to how a person looks. Somebody's very superficial. Okay, this is bringing some sort of emotional state to a person. I feel like somebody's um, crown chakra could be shot, but needing to take uh, a level of awareness that they are who they are and they should accept who they are. Okay, yep, somebody's just very materialistic or um, goals for somebody that's fine, like they money. Okay, that's what I'm picking up here. Spirit is calling for you to take some sort of a rest day. You could be overexerting yourself or doing too much. This could have to do with um, using your energy to be with somebody, okay? I feel like somebody's taking a lot of your energy. I'm hearing that song by Carrie Hilson. I'm having flashbacks. some sleeping with the enemy. How do we reverse the chemistry? I don't want us to be the enemy. This love is taking all of your energy, okay? Or vice versa. I'm seeing material harvest here. This is very beautiful energy. I feel like there's a lot of passion that's built up inside of you to do certain um, things, to make money here. I feel like the power is in your hands. You have full control of your destiny, your foundation and achievements because of your intuition. Okay, somebody could be seeing 419, okay, somebody here could be born September 14th, or somebody could be 41 years old, 41 to 49, somebody's in their early to late 40s, or something about the 40s here, okay, let's see, quick message message for Virgo. So I feel like somebody won't be at a particular place or time because they're tired. Somebody could be taking a rain check on something, but I really do feel like somebody doesn't have the energy to deal with a childish individual, whether it's a masculine, a feminine, or a child. That's what I'm picking up here. Somebody may not want to take a risk at seeing somebody or indulging in someone. This could cause a lot of problems. This is the main person, is this blonde woman. I feel like there's um, a messenger or some sort of message that somebody wants to send you or you them. I feel like somebody is not really thinking about whatever this is that's very unstable, okay? I feel like somebody fights with a person every other day, but loves this person down enough to be married to them. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. 
There's something about the number 82. So I see abundance, power, and perseverance, prosperity. Somebody's coming into a lot of power. There's a lot of power behind something. Yeah. Somebody's trying to gain some sort of opportunity because they're ready for this abundance. They're ready for this level up. But Spirit is telling you to wait. Okay. You are being prompted for a particular reason. What's this message here? What do we need to know for Virgo? So overall, I do see here that anybody that's trying to get something off of you or trying to use your name has to pay you. Like, there ain't nothing else to it. If they want to interview you, they got to pay you. If you're going to be featured in a video or um, on social media, they got to pay you some way, shape, or form. And there's an obsessive lover in the background that's trying to cop block on whatever this is that you got going on. You have an obsessive lover in their head stalking you, following you because you're ignoring them. Because you're getting to the money. You're getting to the bag. Okay? You you are showing a lot of ambition. And this person may want you back because they see you winning here. Okay? That's what I'm picking up on. I'm also getting that you're not really trying to waste any time with anybody. Okay? Especially somebody that's trying to clout chase off of your name or, or anybody that's trying to be clout hungry. Okay? You give credit where credit is due, but not somebody that's just going to come in and want clout just because. Okay? You got somebody that wants to offer you something. I feel like it's a fan or somebody that um, has given you a fan base because they're follow, they follow you. Okay? Somebody is wanting to drop their ego and or pride to... I feel like somebody's not operating out of their ego and pride or it seems like their ego is bringing out their demons because of the light that you carry here. Somebody is a spiritual hater trying to dig up dirt on you or you on them because you're ignoring them and have them in their head. Okay. What's the message here? For Virgo. Okay, so some sort of foreign magic that was supposed to affect you in some way, shape, or form. Here, I feel like it's being reversed to who sent it. Because there's some sort of change of heart pertaining to um, babies here. Okay, somebody may be going on a date. And it looks like somebody doesn't feel pretty. Didn't I, know, uh, didn't I say something about that already? There are feds in an unmarked vehicle that could be watching you. They were sent out to watch you. You have um, government entities that are watching you, okay? There's something about a T-Page that could be headlining somebody that has a secret love child or could have had a child out of wedlock, whatever the case may be, or when y'all were in a relationship. Take it as it resonates. Somebody's going to make a T-Page, okay? You're going to see somebody's face plastered all over a T-Page, Okay, somebody here has done some sort of foreign magic to keep someone stagnant and stuck. Okay, somebody is staying in a relationship to make something work with an individual that could be trying to block you. But whatever this is that they try to block you with, they're being blocked because they're going broke or having to file for bankruptcy. Whatever blocks are being removed, somebody is trying to instill this sort of magic onto you again for you to um, go through a suicide mission or for you to um, not feel like life is valuable. That's what I'm picking up here. Somebody wants you to be suicidal, okay? Somebody wants to be able to have you commit suicide so that they could take your place, okay? Do not be tempted to lower your standards for anybody. Okay, there are obstacles to overcome surrounding advice that somebody is giving you here. 
okay? I do see the nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So you're a family person, okay? And I feel like Spirit is telling you to get back to basics in order to maintain a solid foundation here. All right? Let's see what's here for Virgo. So in the last position, we got a whole bunch of cards here. I'm going to take them. But at the bottom of the deck, I do see a short journey of a marriage. Something's going to be annulled because somebody feels as if a uh, marriage was too risky or wasn't that big of a deal to even get into. Okay? Yeah, there's some form of a marriage that somebody's going to annul. There is a marriage annulment because of some sort of secret that has been kept that may have been outed about a younger man. Okay, there's something about a younger man. Family wishes come true and discord among friends or family. So you may be separating yourself from your family because they are undependable and insincere. You feel like they always have an angle as to why they wanna to try to get close to you because they were never like this or this is different for you here. Who is this person that may gossip about certain secrets pertaining to a marriage? Could be a Aries, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or an earth sign. Okay, I feel like this has something to do with a choice that has been made that somebody is now thinking like, damn, what did I do? Okay, it's like somebody is, is facing an ugly truth about something that they could have allowed to be very um, heavy. Okay, somebody is a wounded warrior. I feel like there's a lot of chaos surrounding this situation here. Let's see. Clarify the emperor in reverse, the two of pentacles in reverse for the nine of swords. We have the throat chakra. Somebody here shouldn't have even communicated something or somebody's holding back on communication when it comes to a conversation. Somebody's trying to release anything to make up time for um, whatever they've wasted time on because they're aware that they need to start fresh, okay? Somebody's leaving something behind. Somebody just doesn't really want to discuss or talk about this shit, <laughs> okay? Somebody's trying to block this out, whatever this is here. Somebody don't want to talk about it or they're not permitted to speak on anything. They just want to move on, okay? Who is this... Um, family dynamic that you might be moving away from and why who is this family member that you're trying to move away from it could be your mother this person could be very confrontational or wanting to control everything when it comes to your life this could be somebody here that you feel is very wise this is an older person or a younger person with some sort of wisdom that is usually very good with making decisions, but could be on the side of, you know, kind of being young, wild, and free, or acting like they're young, wild, and free, and complicating situations here, or trying to come between you and other people that are in your, your life, okay? I'm also getting here that with the eight of pentacles in reverse in the world, I feel like you have become distracted, or you may not feel like um, all of a sudden something is for you. It's like you want to close it out, whether this be a relationship or um, a situationship or work. It's kind of like you're hooked on something else that you're hoping for. It could potentially be somebody that could have breadcrumbed you or didn't give you what you want. It's like you want to start over. Yeah, it's, it's somebody, okay? This is someone. Damn. What is this Eight of Pentacles to the world? Clarify this, please. Okay, we have the Solar Plexus. So I feel like this, there's a neutral energy of self-confidence or self-esteem, but not enough to be confident to overcome something. Somebody feels lost and... Um, 
lacks the vision to motivate themselves to do something because there is some form of an unrealistic um, progress or short-term focus on something or somebody dating somebody uh, spending time with them or this could be pertaining to your friend group or whatever this is somebody feels like there is a stuck energy pertaining to an imbalance when it comes to a relationship or a type of relationship here okay I feel like somebody feels like something is not fair it's not fair you know This could be an Aries for sure. That's confirmation. Somebody here could be an Aries. So this could be a masculine or feminine, or somebody has some form of masculinity when it comes to um, how headstrong they are and what they'll put up with. Somebody could have like a high pain tolerance too. Okay, be good with their hands. It's like, this person could do anything that a, a certain gender could do. This is somebody that, that is very emotional or very nurturing when you need it. It's like they know how to appropriate their feelings. But there's some sort of uh, challenge when it comes to choices and making a decision and kind of narrowing it down to bring um, success, festivities, triumph, happiness, etc. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody's having a really hard time trying to um, trying to make the right choice when it comes to what they want out of life, where they are at, and if they're able to be up for the challenge when it comes to something, okay? Message for Virgo. What is it that we need to know? Okay, somebody could be sending you evil eye energy or doing some sort of um, spiritual work, but you're protected here. I feel like whatever this is that they're trying to open up is your ability to have an unlimited potential to whatever it is that you set your mind to because you're about to be given a key that opens a door because you are so focused or you've gone through a lot of effort to go from you being the old you versus the new you, okay? And somebody wants to distract you from whatever this is that you are able to overcome with your ancestors and guides, okay? This could be your family. This could be a enemy. This could be your best friend. Whoever it might be, they can't disrupt you for much longer because there are changes that are already in place for you to have balance, for you to succeed, for you to put up boundaries, so that nobody can overstep them, okay? Somebody's first or last name is Francis here. Okay, so there's some form of a conflict. There's a masculine that's trying to figure out, maybe from the last time that y'all have been around each other, there was some form of a disagreement or an argument here. Somebody's trying to figure out how they could change that to make things clear for the both of y'all, okay? I feel like the, the reason why there was an argument is because somebody um, held back some sort of truth that ended up to be a betrayal that may have something to do with the air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? I feel like somebody didn't give a person the right to gain a new perspective or to think about something the way that you might, this other person might think about it, and it has made somebody very insecure. I do feel like somebody's holding off on uh, coming towards you because they feel like you're going to reject them. So this is uh, forcing them to go through the dark night of the soul to face their fears so that they can very soon come towards you, okay? Somebody feels like you're running from some sort of quickness or quick moment to some sort of blessings or whatever the case may be. Message for Virgo. So somebody's um, third eye chakra is kind of shot right now. I feel like this is due to some sort of pain or something that you're focused on right now.
that could be hurting you or harming you. I feel like unconsciously you're trying to figure out something. There's something that you're trying to figure out here. Or somebody's trying to figure out how to create or how to have somebody get out of your energy for them not to disrupt you while you're manifesting. You're determined to do this, and I feel like you're doing this with really swift movement, okay? Somebody here could be cramping, or there's something that you're going through emotionally here. But I do feel like you're getting over it. It's like you are able to cleanse yourself very quickly. Or neutralize your energy. There's something about the color purple. Who's going to go see that movie? Let me know in the comments section. I really want to see this. Okay, so somebody doesn't really have faith around a person or something from the past to make a situation better. But I do feel like Spirit is telling you to trust yourself, even if that means that your emotions are tied into it, into this. But I do see here that somebody is trying to use their manifestation or magic to uh, reject somebody or something. Okay, so that they're not feeling crowded or... Um, Stifled, whatever this is. It's like you need somebody to back on up. Somebody's too close for comfort. Okay? Yeah, there's definitely something about the color purple. This could be your aura color for today. Yep, I do see that you guys are manifesting. I see that at the bottom of the deck. So something's coming in for you that you could have already manifested. Or you're manifesting something right now in real time as we speak. Okay, so it looks like somebody's trying to um, project or to be in your energy enough to be able to manifest exactly what it is that you're, you have going on. Okay, you've already been purified and it looks like whatever somebody is trying to do, there will be an ending here for them to be exposed. Somebody's about to be exposed here for trying to uh, bring you some sort of like complication in your life or there's something pertaining to a situation that may have happened between you and a group of people or a particular person that is obsessed with you. They're going to be arrested and they will no longer be able to be in your energy and you will find growth here in, from this situation, okay, somebody could be born October 31st or since October 31st, whatever your life purpose is that you've already discovered, you will find an upgrade here, okay, there's going to be some sort of upgrade that happens for you in your life, okay, somebody can no longer um, make you bound to a situation like they tried to do during rituals or chanting, spell work, etc., they can't do it here. What's the message? Somebody is going to be able to get out of poverty with some sort of unexpected income that shows up for you. Okay. I do see here that somebody could be unemployed, but in a relationship or coming into one that will be granted with great fortune okay being in a relationship makes it to where your income kind of goes up because of what somebody does or what their establishments are somebody here could work um, in the legal system or whatever this is or you could be meeting somebody while you're dealing with a court matter or whatever this is yeah you become the main female the main female is taking care of somebody that is in bad health okay this could be your family member or your significant other or whatever the case may be i feel like i've already talked about this in a, another reading i feel like something is bound to stay the same and not change when it comes to your finances because i've seen sudden wealth Okay, somebody chose you for a particular reason, not because they have pity on you, but because they want to make sure that you never had to work a day in your life again. 
okay? And somebody's trying to delay you of being able to use your gifts to tap into your higher self or your energy. This could be a masculine, an older masculine, or a younger masculine, or somebody that you used to deal with, an ex here. Somebody could live in a condo. I'm hearing condominium. Or something could be um, newly built. So you could be moving into like a new space that just has been built. So you were the first one to live there. Okay. Yep. It could be really big to where you feel like almost you're by yourself. Okay. But it's like you're living in a space where you feel like you can practice self-love and concerning yourself with the things that you need and want in your life to claim back your independence. Okay. I feel like there's somebody here that you don't trust or you don't trust very well. Yep. There's something about not trusting somebody because this is the same person that may have done something to you in the recent past that may have made you lack stability and now they want to apologize. Okay. Somebody's afraid of losing your respect or your friendship, your closeness because they snaked you. you they were the ones that tried to um, curse you, but it went in reverse and now they're afraid of the backlash that they may get from the spiritual realm here, okay? Because you're getting all sorts of tri uh, triumph and this person is angry that it went like this, but get ready, okay? Spirit is telling you to get ready. Spirit is saying get ready for these people to hand over everything that they didn't want you to have. And I feel like this person wants you to have mercy on them to where they don't serve any jail time, but it's not up to you, it's out of your hands now. Okay, somebody could be getting out of jail or not having any jail time. Okay, I do feel like here there's going to be a lot of people rallying and, and um, trying to bring awareness to people that are Decepticons in this lifestyle or this lifetime. And there is a friend that you will no longer do business with or even uh, collaborate with because you can't trust this person. Somebody's low down and dirty. Somebody expected for you to fall into a trap that they made for you, which they now need help to get out of. Okay? There's something that's closing out here, and there is no compromise. This is something that needs to happen here. Okay? Let's see. What's the energy? What is it that we need to know, Holy Spirit? For Virgo? Okay, so somebody's addicted to some sort of lifestyle or what it is that they do that they get a lot from. This could be a feminine energy pertaining to an aunt. This is somebody that you could have been close to that has a feminine alpha energy or male alpha. Spirit is telling you to protect your energy from this full-figured person because this is the same motherfucker that tried to interfere with something that you had going on in your life or in your home, okay? Somebody did something that you never allowed them to do. They trespass, or there could have been some form of an argument. Let's see here, somebody's alarm could have went off. Okay, somebody's security system may have called them. This could have happened when you weren't home, okay? Somebody's alarm system called them and said that there was an intruder in the home when it was actually an aunt here. Somebody here was looking for a signature of yours to duplicate, okay? To duplicate on some sort of paperwork um, when it comes to a divine, a divine soulmate, or not a divine soulmate, but a karmic soulmate. Somebody here wanted to stay intact with a karmic soulmate through forging your signature to make it happen. Somebody does not want to put their name on it. Somebody used your name, okay? We have beauty spells. Somebody here could have been doing beauty spells on you. Look, spyware activity, okay? Somebody knows about some sort of uh, one-night stand that you might have had because they have um, surveillance in your home, okay? And now wants to ask for forgiveness. Yep, the only reason why they're asking for forgiveness is because they're afraid of their own fate, okay? This is the same person that could have allowed or knew about some sort of sexual or physical abuse that you've... 
uh, went through as a child and never said anything and never stood up for you either. Okay? This is somebody that you need to watch out for here. All right? Anyway, Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in your own personal love reading, be sure to email me. And as always, stay blessed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.